Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin. We're here with the App Zap. Uh, Chris talked about this in the video that uh, he did about Launchpad, which is the music making app. Check that out if you haven't. We'll link it in the description. This will be the second video in that series about an application. We'll try to keep it short so you guys can check out what we have to say and move on to something else. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. Uh, today we're talking about a application called Input Mapper. It's really cool. You guys know we have a PS4 controller. We talked about that in another video too. Um, but we downloaded a game called Sonic All Stars. Really good game. Uh, we may do a review of it later. Give me a comment if you think that's a good idea. But uh, it wanted to use an Xbox One controller, which we also have. But we do not have a dongle, and that's not an Xbox One S controller, so we can't use it over Bluetooth. And we didn't really want to use wires. Uh, you know, it just makes it easier to use a wireless controller. The PS4 controller has Bluetooth out of the box, which we already have set up. So we found a application that makes your computer think your PS4 controller is a Xbox controller, which is really cool. It helped us out to run this game. But all you guys need to do to download it is go to inputmapper.com, which I already have up. We will link it in the video description. Uh, you go to downloads. Once you're in downloads, you go to uh, Input Mapper. And once you're here, you have to excuse my computer, it's been a little bit slow. You click download. Uh, we've already downloaded this, so we'll skip this step. Uh, but the installation process is easy. Uh, you just pick where you want it installed, and then uh, we made a desktop shortcut. So then, this is what it looks like once you open it. Our Bluetooth PS4 controller was already set up and it recognized it automatically. We didn't have to do anything else besides turn the controller on. Uh, once it has it recognized, you come in here to profiles. Uh, we created a new profile and I'm so original that I named it new profile. Uh, but it's super easy to make a new one. You click new profile. It already has our PS4 controller registered here. And all you have to do, this is this is it, is click emulate virtual controller and select Xbox 360 controller. Period. Done. That's it. Uh, as far as mapping is considered. It, it maps it out of the box just like you would think it would because between a PS4 controller and an Xbox controller there's really no difference besides different letters written on the buttons. Other than that it's got the same amount of buttons. It's pretty much the same controller. Uh, so after you do that all you have to do is click save and then come up here to your uh, controller tab and click down and select the profile you just made so new profile is the one we already have it's ready to rock and roll so I'll give you guys a quick demo of how it works using Sonic All-Stars uh, we're gonna minimize it it brings it to the system tray gonna jump in Steam real quick and launch Sonic All-Stars yes controller And you will notice on screen when it comes up that it still shows like you're using an Xbox One controller even though we're not. Okay, so you'll see here on screen that it says hit B to exit. So we're going to hit circle and it comes up like we wanted to exit, which we don't right now. So now it gives us the option to push start, which is options, and A for accept. So as you see, it's working just like it should, which is really cool. I mean, anything that simplifies your life like this, we'd have to do any kind of special map, and we downloaded that, two steps, ready to go. So if you guys like the video and you want us to keep doing the App Zap series, give us a like, thumbs up. Uh, comment uh, if you guys want us to do a review of the Sonic All Stars game, put it in the comments. We'll link to everything we talked about as always. And for kind of a final thing in this video, I want to show you guys a real quick peek of this, and we'll kind of leave it there. Uh, put in the comments what you think it's going to be, and we will do a video on it coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also going to do a video on our PC build, which is what we're using to run this. It's more edit and heavy than the rest of the stuff we're doing right now because we had so many cuts it took us a while some trial and error to get this thing where we wanted it so 
So just come back, uh, give us a like, a sub, please share us on Facebook. Don't forget our Nintendo Switch uh, promotion that we're running that if we get a thousand subscribers before launch, we're going to give that away. But we're also going to lengthen that a little bit and we're going to go ahead and say for, let's say, two weeks after launch. If we can get a thousand subscribers, we're still going to give it away. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for more videos and we're out of here.